Hi folks, I'm Steve Judd. I'm a professional astrologer. I'm filming this from my office in Bath, UK. And this is my astrological forecast for May 2011. I hope you enjoy it. And this is the global, no masks. This is real. Over the last couple of months, the global forecasts have been attracting a lot more viewings because it's been a manic time out there. And this time last month, I was saying, look, April 2011 is when it all changes. It has. The confusion, the uncertainty, the just non-clarity, the electric fusion of recent months is about to explode. And there's going to be massive change in May that's going to be physically and measurably evident. We're not talking about words. We're not talking about opinions, ideas, philosophies, theologies, doctrines. We're talking about actions. My reason for saying this is that there's a large concentration of planets coming together in early mid-May. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, the Sun, they're all going to be tight. And this is going to act as a travelling homeopathic needle through the sky. And it's all coming together around the middle 10 days of May. As these planets all together move into Taurus. And I think we're going to see issues around rights of the individual, rights of the community becoming more and more the, the case. Also, Taurus is the sign that's associated most commonly with food. So I would imagine issues around nurturing, provision, food welfare, food management systems are going to become far more the focus of concentration worldwide. There will be further developments in the North African conflicts, you can be sure of this. And I would anticipate end gain coming in a number of areas as we get into mid-May. But I also anticipate a, a very large upsurge in environmental issues starting around mid-May and I truly believe that this will start the final groundswell of public opinion that will lead to the inevitable change of policy around nuclear energy on this planet. This is the beginning of the end for nuclear power. New systems are coming online to replace this dinosaur, this dangerous, dangerous dinosaur. May 2011 is going to be remembered in years to come as the start. It is a time of revolution. It's not a time of violence. Well, it is a time of violence against those oppressors, oppressors and dictators. And to a certain extent, those corporates and governments who, who seek to um, impose and disempower. But this is more the certain areas of the world that are prone to this type of behaviour. This is not so representative in what I would flippantly call first or third world countries. May 2011 is going to be remembered in the Western world at least as the time where individuals started to really get their acts together and to start making things work at the group and community level. Because this is the way it's going to have to be in the future. So, first 2011 goes, great month to start smiling at your neighbours, make friends in your community, and really open up your own value systems and start sharing with people a lot more, because that's what the future is based on. 2011, time to begin again. May 2011, here's the triggers. Make it happen, folks. This is a time we've all been waiting for. Have a creative, a productive, a dynamic and a stimulating. Hope you enjoyed that and it was of help to you. I do do face to face and email and telephone consultations. Just email me, steve at stevejudd.com. I'll send you all the details. 
Everything you want to know about me, you'll find at stevejudd.com. I want to thank Trent Crawley, who's filmed me consistently for a couple of years, without whom I wouldn't have been able to do this. See you in June.